I've been a blacksmith armorer for over 30 years. Pirates of the Caribbean, Doro, Blade. I've created weapons for over 200 feature films. This is Man at Arms. I want to make Captain America's shield as a real functional shield, so I'm going to do the base layer closer to the body out of stainless steel. In order to get the coloration on it, I need to form aluminum that conforms to the same contour of the stainless one, and then I'll cut out the star and the rings, and I'll anodize the aluminum domes to red, blue, and silver. I use my ubiquitous Beverly shear, which we use for all kinds of sheet metal, to cut the circles out of the stainless and the aluminum. The beauty of a Beverly shear is it does a curved cut and gives a relatively clean edge. It did leave some burrs, so we had to take it over to the belt sander and take off the sharp edges, so as I was working with it on the other machinery, I didn't lose any fingers. Doing the initial doming on Captain America's shield using a Polmax P21 universal sheet metal forming machine with doming dies. This machine goes from 400 to 4,000 strokes a minute and it moves metal pretty quickly. The machine I have was built late 60s and used for making louvered gun ports for the Vietnam War. A Pettingale hammer is comparable to about a 90 pound forging hammer. It hits up to a thousand times a minute if I step on the treadle and just go for it. And now I'm smoothing it on the English wheeling machine. These were used to build airplanes and car parts for the British war effort during World War II at an appropriate time for Captain America. I originally thought Captain America's shield would be something like 22 to 24 inches in diameter and in reading up on the Wikipedia they stated they were 30 inches in diameter which makes a lot more work to make. I took a uh, Scotch-Brite disc, which is kind of a fibrous abrasive and gives a really smooth finish, and smoothed everything out. I found the center of the shield with the large dividers. I'd blown up a paper pattern showing how big the star needed to be and applied that to the center with a spray adhesive and started cutting that out with an abrasive saw. I got the star and rings back from the anodizer. Now it's time to rivet it together onto the steel disc. What's kind of cool with the anodizing, it actually oxidizes aluminum. And aluminum oxide is the same element that a ruby is. Diamond being a hardness of 10, ruby being a hardness of 9, gives it a surface coating as hard as a ruby over the top of Captain America's shield. Captain America is really pertinent to me right now. I was actually born in Hammersmith, England. You can't tell from my accent. I've lived here my whole life. I've just applied for my U.S. citizenship, and hopefully I don't get rejected and deported. <laughs> Thanks for watching Man at Arms. Be sure to subscribe. If you've got a question for me, ask me in the comments below or in our AWME Facebook page. I'll try to answer some in an upcoming episode.